Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith once again, and yes, AMD has launched Raven Ridge APUs on the mobile platform, and they are now aiming to do the same for desktop users. To be prepared for the Raven Ridge APU launch on the desktop platform, motherboard vendors are shipping out the latest BIOS updates to support the upcoming family of APUs. I wonder if they'll finally unlock the Bristol Ridge parts, but whatever, we have those on hand to compare to the new Raven Ridge when they come out, so exciting stuff there. The AMD AM4 chipset based motherboards have officially supported Raven Ridge processors since launch. Only the BIOS needed updated. The AM4 platform is set to offer longevity to users, meaning that AMD will extend CPU support on the platform beyond Summit Ridge, which is Ryzen, and Bristol Ridge, which is the last gen, ninth gen APU. We also know that Raven Ridge support, these motherboards will also get Pinnacle Ridge CPU support, which is expected to launch next year. Overall, unlike Intel who demand users to shift over to from older platforms to use their new chips, AMD does offer a better upgrade path to their consumers, especially this time around. As for details about the AMD Raven Ridge APUs, they're going to be a big upgrade over the older Excavator and Steamroller APUs which have existed for some time now. The main upgrades will come from in the form of Zen cores to deliver increased IPC along with newer graphics cores that are suggested to feature similar enhancements as AMD's Vega class GPUs. Anyway, back to the story. We're going to post here a list of the recent Raven Ridge CPU supported BIOS updates. Thanks to Planet 3D Now, they managed to get a list of these motherboards and we can see them on screen now. It's quite a few, especially if you're an ASUS uh, user. So there's a hint given out by all the BIOS rollouts that means we are looking at Raven Ridge launch really soon. As far as rumors are concerned, we can expect a launch of next generation APU family somewhere during CES 2018 since AMD has previously launched or announced their APUs during those events. It was already mentioned by Noctua that the first Ryzen based APUs will be introduced next year. Luckily we'll be at CES this year so we'll be able to bring you that coverage if it happens while we're there. Alright this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you in the next one.